Are you a beginner in photo editing and looking for a good software that's very easy to use with zero learning curve? Are you on the hunt for the fastest and easiest way to edit your portraits? Today, I'm going to show you how to edit portraits fast and easy in Luminar 4. Let's open up Luminar 4. I'm currently on the latest version which is 4.2. By the way, Luminar 4 can be used as a plugin in Lightroom and Photoshop. But for today's video, we will be editing directly in Luminar. So let's use this image right here. If you look here down at the bottom, you will see some Luminar looks. These are one-click presets that uses artificial intelligence to edit the image. Let's try the AI Phase Enhancer and see what it does. And just like that, with a click of a mouse, the AI has edited this image as it sees fit. Let me show you the before and after. Before. After. Impressed? Comment down below what you think. Let's reset the adjustments and edit the image manually. Let's go to the edit panel on the top right. Then click this pencil and ruler icon to go to the canvas section. So like any other portrait editing workflow, we start by removing the obvious and distracting blemishes. Click the erase button right here and start marking all the blemishes that we want to remove. Once we're done selecting, click the Erase button on top. It will then start to remove all the blemishes. And when finished, click Done on the top right corner. Next is we click the smiley icon on the right to go to the Portrait panel. And we go to the AI Skin Enhancer section right here. There is this option to enable the AI Skin Defects Removal, but we've already removed the blemishes so we can skip this one. Let's now move the amount slider right here to apply skin smoothing. Let's leave it at 50%. Let's compare it. Without AI Skin Enhancer, with AI Skin Enhancer. Without AI Skin Enhancer With AI Skin Enhancer Let's zoom in so we can see the change better Before After Alright, looking good There is another slider here for shine removal But for this case, we don't need to use it Let's now go to the AI Portrait Enhancer Here we are introduced to a bunch of sliders to modify the features of the face using its artificial intelligence. Let's move the face light slider to brighten the face. We can skip the red eye removal because it doesn't apply to this image. Let's now add eye whitening and eye enhancer to make the eye stand out. We can also skip the dark circles removal because she doesn't have any. There's also an option to slim the face, but personally, I don't use this unless the client or model requests for it. We don't need to enlarge the eyes on this image either. Let's improve the eyebrows a little bit. It tries to add sharpness and contrast as you can see. Then let's add color to her lips by moving the lip saturation, redness, and darkening sliders. We can skip the teeth whitening part because she's not showing her teeth. And we're done! We're just moving a few sliders, we've edited this image quickly and easily without creating any layers or masks. Let me show you the before and after. Before After Please hit the like button if you like this edit. If you click on the sun icon right here, it will show you the essentials panel where you can edit the exposure and color of the image. 
Let's click the eye dropper tool here and change the white balance. We click on the white part of the eye, which looks a little grayish. Before, after. It looks much better. We can then export this image by clicking right here. And we are greeted with the export settings. I'll select the folder location and just leave the file name as it is. I'll set the format to JPEG and sharpness to none. Then retain the actual size and color space to Adobe RGB. Make sure that the resolution is between 240 to 300 pixels per inch. Then we set the quality all the way to 100. Then click export. Let's edit another image right here. And as I've mentioned earlier, Luminar 4 offers a few one-click presets called Luminar Looks. Let's go to the Essentials Looks and select the AI Image Enhancer and see what it does. Oh wow! And just like that, the AI has managed to edit this image quite nicely. Let me show you the before and after. Before, after. Isn't this amazing? Let's go ahead and start retouching the face. Let's remove the blemishes by going to the canvas panel right here. Click the Erase button and start selecting the blemishes. And then we click Erase. Okay, let's zoom in and have a look. Okay, it's done a good job removing the blemishes, so let's exit out of here. Let's start smoothing out the face by going to the portrait section right here. Then to AI Skin Enhancer. Let's increase the amount to about 75. And this is the before. This is after. Let's zoom all the way out and compare it again. Before. After. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's now go to the AI Portrait Enhancer. Let's brighten her face a little bit by moving the face light slider. Adjust the eye whitening and eye enhancer, then skip the rest. Then let's add saturation and redness to her lips. Okay, that's about it. Here's the original image. And here's our edit. We can also toggle this tiny switch right here if we just want to isolate and see the changes we've made for that setting only. As you can see, the artificial intelligence did an amazing job with the model's face. There's also this high key and orton effect settings, but these are used for a more stylized and creative edits. I'm satisfied with this edit, so let's go ahead and export it. Let's go to our third example. Again, I'll click on the AI Image Enhancer and let the software do its magic. So this is the before, after. Let's now go to the canvas panel and remove the blemishes. I'll make this quick. Then we go to the portrait panel and apply AI Skin Enhancer. Alright, looking good. Then we go to the AI Portrait Enhancer and move the sliders. I'll speed this up because you know this step already. This is without AI Portrait Enhancer, with AI Portrait Enhancer. Let's zoom all the way out. Okay, that's good enough for me. And let's look at the original image. And this is our edit. What do you guys think? It's simple enough, right? And for our last example, let's make it more challenging. This time, let's go to the Portrait Luminar Look section. Let's check out each preset right here and see which one is a perfect match for this image. Here is the AI Face Enhancer. This is Artistic Portrait. 
This is black and white portrait. This is desert look. This is dreamy portrait. This is the escape look. This is female portrait. And this is the film look. And lastly, we have the street map. I think I'll go with the desert look. I like the warm color and overall tone of the image. We can move the slider here to increase or decrease the intensity of the effect. This is the original image, and this is the desert look. Let's continue and edit the face. Again, we go to the canvas section and remove the blemishes. Then we go to the portrait section and apply AI Skin Enhancer. Let's go all the way to 100 and see the difference. It's obviously way too much, so let's dial it down to about 45. Okay, that looks more natural. Let's now apply AI Portrait Enhancer. Her face is already bright, so let's just enhance her eyes, eyebrows, and lips. Okay, I think we're done. And here's a before and after. So this is how to edit portraits in Luminar 4. Of course, you can always take it further by bringing it to Lightroom or Photoshop, but that's another story. If you're a beginner who's having a hard time learning Photoshop or Lightroom, this is the software for you. Or if you just want a simple, fast and easy way to edit your photos, Luminar 4 will be your go-to photo editing software. The artificial intelligence is indeed impressive, and the one-click presets also make a decent job. But please note that no matter what editing software you choose, as long as you know how to use it, and you understand its functions, you will never go wrong in editing your photos. If you'd like to purchase Luminar 4, I'll post a link down in the description. They are on a summer sale right now, so go ahead and grab it. There's only 3 days left before the sale ends. Before I end this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. And comment down below if you have any comments or suggestions. Thank you for watching.